He does call me out of the blue for no reason. I don't know why, but he does. Musk went on to say a lot of Trump's friends now own Teslas and love them. He added Temp is a, Trump is a huge fan of the Cybertruck. Elon Musk Trump during a Tesla, Tesla shareholder meeting. The Tesla CEO confirms Trump calls him out of the blue. So Trump is calling Elon out of the blue. And I got to say, Elon, in my opinion, so here it is. Here's the disclosure, because I know I get comments every single time I talk about this. Yes, I'm an Elon fanboy. Yes, I'm a Tesla fanboy. Yes, I'm a Tesla owner. No, I'm not paid to say good things about Tesla. But I know there's a lot of people who are paid to basically deride Tesla every chance they get. Now, with that out of the way, I think Elon is this generation's Henry Ford. And if he hadn't expressed his political views, the whole landscape of how the electric vehicle market wouldn't have changed. It would have continued on a rocket ship trajectory forever. But because he expressed his political views, now all these people have decided, oh, um, Elon's bad because he feels this way. And his his company, which, you know, six months ago was awesome, is the bane of existence, right? Give me a break here, right? Elon is going to change the world. And we're just sitting in and wait to watch him do it. Now, he's dishing out his talk, dishing on talks with Trump during Tesla shareholder meeting. Uh, discussed his relationship with President Trump during the electric vehicle giant share, shareholder meeting on Thursday, confirming that the pair have conversations and revealing some of what they've discussed. He does call me out of the blue for no reason. I don't know why, but he does. <laughs> Must say that Trump is very nice when he's on calls and uh, telling the former president that EVs are pretty good for the future and that America needs a leader in electronic cars or electric cars. Musk went on to say a lot of Trump's friends now own Teslas and love them. He added Temp is a Trump is a huge fan of the Cybertruck. I am too. I think the Cybertrucks are super cool. Um, I really honestly want to get one so bad. But the funny story is that, so like I say, I own a, a Model Y Performance and it's freaking awesome. I love that car. Greatest car I've ever owned. Um, and I was like, hey, I was talking to my wife. I said, I'd love to get one of those Cybertrucks. I think they're super cool. And she looked at me dead in the eye and she said, I will never sit in a Cybertruck. I will never be seen in a Cybertruck. I will never drive a Cybertruck. So don't even bother getting a Cybertruck because I will never, ever be in it. And I was like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> so I suppose I'll have to get a big old diesel truck instead, instead of uh, a Cybertruck. But I just think they're so cool, right? The tech billionaire's confirmation said that, uh, uh, the tech billionaire's confirmation and that, I don't know, this is poorly written. Uh, he has talks with Trump. Uh, Kong and a pair's growing alliance, citing people familiar. Uh, the journal said Trump is considering offering Musk an advisory role in the White House if he becomes president in the fall, which is super interesting. Uh, Tesla shareholders. Oh, we're going to talk about that story in just a minute. But overall, let me know your opinion down in the comments below. Do you think that uh, a Trump and Elon partnership is good for the economy, is good for business, is good for America? Or do you think, you know what? He's jumping the shark here, choosing somebody like Elon to be in his cabinet. I don't know. I Personally, I think this is awesome. A great step in the right direction. But I also feel that Elon can get really stretched, right? Elon is bouncing too many balls in one court. And he's, I don't know. It feels like if he focused more, he would be more successful in one of those endeavors. But he has such a, a broad interest that it's really hard to just pick one of those endeavors for him, right? And that's somewhat reflective in the stock price. We were all there when the stock rocketed up to a share, uh, a, a split adjusted price of around $400, right? And going from about 200 to 400 back in 2021. Man, I remember when that was happening, people were, were basically buying Tesla hand over fist and saying, if you don't buy Tesla, you're an idiot, right? It's only going up. And lately it's gone from a high of around, let's call it 300 or so back in July of 2023 over the last year. It's gone down to as low as 144, so about half the price. It's got about half the price in the span of those uh, of a year, but it has come on up lately. It's up at around 178 right now. We got a buy signal on Tesla actually today. We got a buy signal on Tesla today. That's a surprise. I didn't even know that was happening. Um, but I did look at the performance summary on here, and Tesla sees a 1,039 percent return following these outlier buy and sell signals that you see on your screen right here. And hey, I want to send you some buy and sell signals every single day, just like what you see on the screen. I'll email you a new buy and sell signal every single day over at freeaitrades.com, just like this, an email you'll get in your inbox every single day where I'm telling you, hey, this is a cool stock I'm looking at. 
with a buy signal or a sell signal. So hopefully you can join in on that and you don't miss out on the next one that comes through. Let's take a look at what the people are saying out there. Elon Musk dishes on his talks with President Donald Trump during a Tesla shareholder meeting. Uh, Biden's greatest accomplishment is showing people how great Trump was. <laughs> okay. Uh, I love their alliance. If both come together and cook up something, you can be sure the result will be a fantastically amazing. Oh, look at that. Fantastically amazing. Um, that's an ad. Original shirt from Amazon. If you still hate Trump after this Biden's show, your commitment to stupidity is impressive. Okay, these are pretty funny. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you think a Trump and Elon partnership is a good thing or a bad thing? Really curious to hear your thoughts. And do me a favor, click one of these two videos up above. The YouTube algorithm gods think that you're going to like one of these. And thank you so much for tuning in today's Outlier Live. I'll see you in the next episode.